I've got my cake and I've just placed it. It's just loose on this board. It's just so it's easier for me to ice. I've got some regular buttercream here and we're gonna end up covering this cake in fondant. So we just need a thin coat of regular buttercream. Stir it up, get the bubbles out of it. Plop it right on top. And just take your spatula and slide it all the way over. It's fine if there are cake crumbs in it because like I said, it's gonna be covered in fondant. Not gonna see it. If that bothers you though, you can certainly do it without having cake crumbs in there. It's just gonna take you a little longer to ice. And time is money, people. Now this piece right here keeps getting in my way, so I'm cutting that out. So you get in my way, that's it. You're done. You're out of there. There we go. Just be careful around the mouth that you don't tear that piece off. And you just need to pop a little bit of buttercream inside there. So you have to be a little more gentle in there. It's always good before you carve it that your cake is uh, firm, that's been chilled. So it's a good idea to actually build it, fill it the day before, and then carve it the next day, and then we're gonna ice it, and then we're gonna go ahead and chill it again before we cover it. Just so it's nice and sturdy. Of course, if you don't have that much time, that's fine, but in ideal circumstances, that's what you wanna do. Just put a little bit down here where the fin's gonna be. And we'll just smooth it out a little bit and pop it in. I'm gonna put it in the freezer. You can either put it in the freezer or the refrigerator. I am just doing the freezer because it's gonna be a little faster. Just take one of these scrapers. I like the, there's some that are softer and some that are firmer. The softer one you can actually curve like this. Come around the bottom. See, I'm actually taking the corner of this and going right in at the bottom at the base. You want to get that excess icing out of there so when the fondant goes over it, it'll go right down into the bottom because you don't want it to be flat at the bottom. That won't look realistic. Now I can get down to the tail. I'll use my little piece of plastic or acetate paper, they call it. Get it at, uh, at um, either cake and candy supply stores. It's actually a band that goes around some desserts. Or you can go to the um, art supply store and it comes in sheets in different thicknesses. And you can just get a sheet of that and just cut it into squares or rectangles, whatever shape you like the best. I've cut it, got it kind of thick with the buttercream down here. I'm just thinning that out a little bit. What I didn't like here was that it looked pretty flat up here. I wanted a little bit more rounded like this. So I need to go ahead and put a little bit more buttercream back in there. Because this should be the fattest part of the fish right there. Okay, now look at this mess here. We have a little bit more buttercream in there where the cake's showing. At this point, we can go ahead and, like I said, I'm going to pop it in the freezer, but you could do it in the refrigerator if you don't have room in your freezer. 